What is going on everyone, it's Nier again, here for you some Call of Duty Ghosts and today I had a couple ideas for what I wanted to do for this video so I really wanted to make a custom class video. I have these classes here, they're pretty good but it's only four classes. I want to have six of them for you guys, I want a little bit, bit more variety, I want to have a knife only class, maybe a sniper class, a burst class, a shotgun class, stealth class, and a submachine gun. I want to do that but I don't have enough things unlocked. This game takes a lot to unlock a lot of things, so as soon as I'm able, I want to make a custom class tutorial for you guys. But today, instead, I figure I would explain to you guys how Specialist works, because Specialist, the Specialist Strike Package, in this game is completely different as compared to other games in the series. So, let's go ahead and just remove all these perks. We removed them all, we just removed them all. So, on the MSBS here, the most overpowered weapon so far <laughs> within God Ghost, right? So you got this gun. And we're going to go with Specialist. So let's take what do we want as set perks. The way I run this gun is I have no secondary, I have no lethal, and I have no tactical. And this opens up more perks points for uh, this particular class. So what are the things I want here? I definitely want Stalker. I think uh, having Agility is a good thing. Agility is the equivalent of uh, Lightweight. You just move around a lot faster. I would like to have Amplify as well as Dead Silence because Sound Whoring is a big part of this game. You're going to need to do it. If you don't like Sound Whoring, you're kind of out of luck in that regard. And I think uh, Steady Aim Marathon, Steady Aim Marathon, I think Steady Aim because I, I really like the idea of actually hip firing with a burst fire rifle. So those are the five perks that I want for this class, right? Those are all I want, fine and dandy. Now let's start working on Specialist. Specialist is semi-nerfed in, in some regards, but it's kind of neat at the same time. So with Specialist, you used to be able to go up into an 8-point streak, and once you got that 8-point streak during Modern Warfare 3, you would essentially just get every perk in the game as well as every proficiency. Well, this game doesn't have proficiencies, so you don't get that. And the numbers of the perks actually matter. So let's say for a specialist, you're like, okay, I want a uh, slide of hand, scavenger, and ICU, which regenerates your health faster. That's what you want. Notice on the bottom left there, it is three points for slide of hand, six points for scavenger, and nine kills just to be able to go ahead and get your ICU. Now well, let's start adding random perks in here. Let's say you want Hardline as one of your specialist things for whatever reason, which I, that's, wait, that's stupid, don't do that. Uh, have Sit Rep be there. Now, you have to wait all the way, if you've seen the bottom left there, you have to wait until you get 11 kills to be able to earn your specialist bonus. Now, one thing you should note is that you get eight total perk values for your specialist bonus. You do not get every perk in the game. You do not get every proficiency in the game. You get eight points worth of perks that you can go ahead and put in there. So let's say you want, uh, I'll just pick the two point perks I have left. You know, I'll put uh, sit rep, we'll put marathon, and we will put hardline, even though that's kind of stupid, and then we'll throw in these two. Right now, as it sits, at a three, at a three point streak, I'll get slave hand, at six, I'll get scavenger, at nine, I will actually end up getting ICU, then at 11 kills, I'll end up getting the rest of my perks, which the rest of my perks only include what we got here, we got the Resilience with no fall damage, we got Recon, Hardline, Sit Rep, and Marathon. Kinda silly. Kinda silly to wait all the way to 11 kills. Now if you want to do this more efficiently, you want to do uh, Specialist more efficiently, what you want to go ahead and do is utilize the one point perks because they get you to your Specialist bonus a lot faster. Now you can go from, uh, let's see here, Resilience is actually pretty good. I like Resilience. Uh, taking no fall damage is the equivalent of Lightweight Pro. I like that. That's a good uh, That's a good aspect. Uh, right here, ready up. Your weapon readies up faster after sprinting. That's a good one. And notice, since he's caught, these are only one point perks down there in the bottom left, it's only two points to get Resilience. It's only four points to get ready up. And um, I don't know what the last one should be. Maybe we'll get Strong Arm. We can throw a grenade faster. It really doesn't matter. This isn't my custom class tutorial. I'm just putting off perks here. So now we got two, four, and six. You see down there? This is this is a very math-driven video, isn't it? You get two, four, and six, and that is what uh, th th those are your perks. Now, if you do one more, one more, wait, yeah, actually, I don't think it matters anymore. Yeah, you can put wherever you want in there: two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, twelve, infinity. I guess I really don't know. Actually, I don't have any three-point perks to try out. But as it sits right now, our first kit, you'd have to wait all the way to eleven kills to get your specialist bonus. But as of right here you actually only have to wait till 8 kills to get your specialist bonus. And now we can put in things, we're going to have Marathon, we can have Slave Hand, we can have Scavenger, and we can have ICU. Now this is pretty nerfed, of course. You know, it's pretty nerfed that you don't get every perk in the game with your specialist bonus. But as it sits right now, 
at an eight point streak, you get Sleight of Hand and Marathon, Scavenger, ICU, as well as Resilience and uh, Ready Up and uh, what's it called, Strong Arm. That's pretty good. Eight kills gives you seven more perks. That's uh, I think that's a pretty good way to run the specialist package. And I figured I'd make this video for you guys explaining to you exactly how, spe how specialist works. Because for me, I didn't know how it worked. I didn't put on these secondary perks here. I chose my first three and then assumed that I would actually just go ahead and get the rest of my perks. As soon as I got my specialist bonus. That's not how it works. If you don't actually put in these blue perks, you notice how it like lights up blue and they go into the bottom in my specialist bonus. If you don't actually put those in, you don't get any bonus at your specialist. That's how it works. It's pretty goofy. But my recommendation for you guys is to use as many of the two and three point perks within your actual perks. In your specialist strike package, get some decent one point perks. Maybe you want gambler, which gives you a random perk. You want you want resistance or resilience. I think resilience is actually a good one. And maybe get yourself uh, ready up, which actually helps you more than you think. And now, you get your specialist bonus at 8, and at 8 kills, you end up actually getting Scavenger, and Sleight of Hand, and Marathon, and whatever else you, you want. Blind Eye, maybe. I don't know. Or, or, mind you, these are 8-point perk values. So, just for, just for shits here, you could go ahead and give yourself, um, you know, Strong Arm, as well as Takedown, as well as Recon, as well as On The Go, and then, then maybe give yourself, I don't know, Sleight of Hand, and Marathon. So now, you, instead of having four perks at your specialist bonus, you now have six. It really depends on how you want to play with this. There are 35 perks in total within this game, and it's up to you, as of right now, to try and figure out what's the best setup. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys found this video informative and or helpful. And if you did, remember to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves. And if you're new, if you are new to my channel here, subscribe for more Call of Duty Ghost gameplay and commentary and tips and tricks and footage and all that kind of beautiful stuff. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a day. I was banging seven grand rocks as I roll. I got one gift.